the Joe Rogan experience. I first heard your story decades ago. I've, uh, I told you last night when we went out to dinner, I've seen pretty much every interview you've ever given. I've followed the story incredibly closely. Mm -hmm. But for people who don't know the story, let's give them the bullet points. You used to work at Area 51. And Area 51... You, God, you you went like, huh? Well, you know, we want to be accurate. Okay. Area S4. S4, okay. It's about 15 miles south of Area 51. Okay. But um, you worked in, what would you, how would you describe it? Uh, I, I guess within the Area 51 compound, you can call that a subset of Area 51. And you got that job. Before that, you were working... Before that, I had worked at Los Alamos right. National Labs in New Mexico. And you were involved in what kind of work? There? Nuclear weapon development, physics. I mean, that's they, they do everything there. So how do they approach you to say, hey, Bob, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Well, the way this went down was, um, at that time, it was 1982, I um, had put... Uh, a jet engine in my my Honda, and Los Alamos put it on the front page of the paper. He said, you know, uh, Los Alamos man, physicist at the lab, you know, built this two hundred mile an hour, you know, Honda jet car that I, I drove to work every day. <laughs> so, uh, so I was I was known in Los Alamos, the guy with the weird car, and the, you know, you could hear it from you know a mile away. Anyway. The day that came out on the front page of the paper was the day Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb, was giving a lecture down there at the lab. And we didn't have much going on that day in our group, and I asked if I could go down there. And um, I went down there early, and Ed Teller was outside, leaning on a brick wall there and reading the front page of the paper. Now, this is a guy out of history, so I introduced myself, hey, I'm the guy you're reading about there. And we talked for a little while, and it was cool. Uh, you know, fast forward to years later, I had moved out to Las Vegas and had, you know, left Los Alamos and, you know, went on to other things. And I wanted to get back into the scientific community. You know, I left to start other businesses and, and that sort of thing. So I sent resumes out, and one of them went out to Ed Teller and referenced our meeting, you know, back, at, back in the, the day. And uh, anyway, he remembered me. And gave me a reference, somebody to contact at EGNG. And that's pretty much how it started. So you get a phone call or a letter? Like, what do you get? Well, I got a, what did I get? I got a letter initially and um, went down for an interview probably a couple times. And it was down at uh, EGNG Special Projects, which was... Um, at McCarran Airport at that time out in Las Vegas. And did they give you any sort of job description of what you were applying for? Um, they said it was for – I can't remember exactly what they did. This was a long time ago, but I, I think it was um, advanced propulsion or something like that, something relatively generic. And they said it's in a remote area. Um, you know, it's going to be some days on, some days off. And, um, you know, it was kind of a – it was kind of uh, not exactly a full-time job, but you might have to be out there for two weeks at a time and take two weeks off. So it was kind of a – the work schedule would be kind of broken up. And did this seem attractive to you or did it seem weird? How no, it? it really wasn't weird because people that work at the test site, anybody that's familiar with the area up there, um, you know, working at the nuclear test site uh, or at the Tonopah test range north of there, uh, that's – Typically how things go. So you had known about it from the scientific community? Because it, Area 51 at that time was No, they still didn't say classified. anything about Area 51. Okay, so they, they just... They just said it was in a, you know, in a remote location, and you just know it was up at the test site. Right. So, but there was no mention of Area 51 at that time. So they've done hundreds of nuclear tests in Nevada, Nevada, that, that whole area was... There's been... There's giant chunks of Nevada that people... Yeah, were, there's a big piece of Nevada, and it's split up into different areas. There's a nuclear test site. There's Area 51. There's the Tonopah test range north of that. There's little sub-areas. There's areas where they test chemical weapons and things like that. So it's all broken up as a you know gigantic test area. 